Uh, what, are, what are some of the ways that you invite people into your world? Like yeah. as you're teaching, yeah. I love doing this on these lives. We have the big, the big screen up here. Mm. Get people to even comment yeah. on so we can actually see what, what are, they're feeling. What are some things that you, inv- I want to know what you guys do. What are some things that you personally invite people into to be a part of? Like what is your mission statement, bro? Or a lady? What is your mission statement? What are you, invi- what are you inviting them to be a part of? You know, like dodge coin to the moon. No, not dodge coin. You know, Deutsche coin. What else do you invite them into? I, I'd love to know that. Okay, because if you're not if you're not even clear about what you would invite your perfect dream person into or your high value partner into, then why would they want to be a part of it? I'll give you an example. Okay, when you meet someone and you say, "Hey," you meet them in the day. For example, you meet them in the day. You're walking down the street, get a little conversation going. Thirty seconds. Great. Good job. Okay. Great. Hey, you want to go for a coffee? Why is that person going to say yes to the coffee? Why are they going to drop everything that they're doing, their established friends, the places they got to go, the things they got to buy, they're, they're already the routine that they're in? Why would they abandon that important routine to leave and go hang out with a complete stranger for 15 minutes that could be completely boring? Why would, why would they do that? Now, let, me, let me tell you guys, it's not for the coffee. They can buy their own $3 Starbucks. They don't need your Starbucks. They're not going for the coffee. They're going for the person. All right, great. Who are you? Who are you? What are you inviting them into? What is your mission statement, right? Another example here. I'm here with Owen. You know, we're part of the crew. What is the crew? Is the crew just a bunch of guys just hanging out in the hills? No. The crew is like being on the forefront of social dynamics. It's making an impact, being renegades and mavericks, shaping change and impacting millions of people's lives around the world every single year. That's Mm -hmm. what being a part of the crew is. Creating legendary content in a space where you can even create it. That's what being part of the crew is. And there's so many ways that we impact people, you know, that you would never know in a million years. Like, it's really about making an impact. I can, there was a guy up here, you know, if you roll up the comments, uh, Ibrahim, there was a guy here who was into hip hop. You know, he said, what kind of things would you teach somebody from hip hop? I remember when I met Nipsey Hussle, we were hanging out at Bossa Nova, and this was before he passed away. And we were talking about how we do our launches Mm -hmm. and we do a smaller niche audience but to a higher price point. And later, we saw Nipsey do that $100 album that Mm. Jay-Z went and bought, right? So, you know, there was a guy who was talking about uh, hip-hop, you know? Or um, I think one of Drake's big producers is actually has worked with some of our instructors. Mm. Or, you know, my good buddy, uh, hip-hop, the guy who owns Hip-Hop DX, Charles Cherian, has been my friend for 20 years. I used to hang out with Wyclef Jean a lot. What's that? I used to hang out with Wyclef Jean a lot. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so you hang out with Wyclef. So it's like, you know, he was asking about what kind of impact we make on people in the hip hop industry. So you see the main thing that I'm saying here is that you're always making an impact. Like when you have this stuff down, you know, like take the Nipsey Hustle example, okay? You know, whether or not Nipsey exactly executed that on my advice, I don't know. I remember chatting with him about he did so now I was really excited. So the the idea being is that I really like things like say marketing. So when I meet somebody like Nipsey, I had the opportunity to meet him before he passed. That was really cool. And I knew cool things that I wanted to talk about that might be of interest to other hustlers, other people that are doing things, and so on and so forth, right? My buddy Sharth is building hiphopdx.com. He was seeing how we were building our websites and so on and so forth. That was of interest. When you're probably hanging out with Wyclef, there would have been common interests there. There would have been things that you can share, things that you can relate on, and so on and so forth. I got a number of other musician friends, guys who I mean help them to build up. And usually I relate to them on things like, um, building a YouTube channel, you know, building social media. They see how we build out our social media and we talk about things like that. So whatever it is that you're doing, whoever, you know, that's examples of who you'd meet and you know, you're just meeting them out. And do you have interesting things that you can talk about? Do you have interesting things that you can share? What is it in your life that you can bring to the table for other people where you can have a really fascinating conversation with somebody who's at a high level, if that makes any sense. Yeah, this guy says, uh, higher image says, game is life, life is game. That's exactly mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Like, I, the, idea that, the, the idea that you walk up to somebody and put on a shtick, like you put on the, the smoothness of the game, that is absolutely like the, the, the unhealthiest way to look at it. You gotta think about what you're doing in your life and how do you be that person in your life that you, and you walk around then you invite somebody into that. Like, I don't try to go up to somebody and put on the, put on the act I try to live my life daily in a way where 95% of the time where I'm alone, I'm that person. And then when I walk up to the high value person I want to meet, then I just continue acting that keep way. Keep being that person. Exactly. You Even when he gets it. into the now. He just, that's how he does it. He just keeps being that person. Yeah, you that's know? the idea of it. And, and sometimes it doesn't work. 
But if it doesn't work, I just continue doing what I've already been doing, which is being that person, right? So, you know, Owen gave some examples about like some uh, uh, musicians that he can be, that you can meet, uh, network with, work with, build a f- future with, you know, and also you can use the same technique to work with uh, a relationship or a partner you want to have, right? If it was, let's say, in a dating context, you know, we've established um, your, your, your high value person, that doctor, that lawyer, that model, that wonderful, smart person, that school teacher, she can buy her own coffee. They can buy their own coffee. Okay, great. So why would they go with you? Well, if somebody goes for a coffee with me, I'm not just inviting them to the coffee. I'm inviting them to an opportunity to change their life. I'm inviting them to an opportunity to see new perspective because I'm hustling, man. I'm hustling. Every single thing that I got in my life was not given to me easy. I'm not, not like the other people out there that kind of maybe had some handouts. Everything that I had, I had to scratch and hustle for. And you better believe, man, that this year was not an easy year. I saw the business have some challenges this year over COVID like a lot of people did. But guess what? I had the experience of feeling, struggling, and building something back up from the scratch, from the ground up. And that's not something that everybody can claim. Right, So when somebody goes for a coffee with me, that's what they're getting. That's what she, he may be getting if they hang out with you. They're getting your experiences in life that you've had, all that that you struggled for. That's what they're going for the coffee with. You understand? So you can invite them with you on that journey towards that. That's way more exciting than do you like a latte. That's way more exciting than you look cute or pretty. I want to meet you. You look handsome. I want to meet you. So what country are you from? That's way more exciting. So at least send a drilling of the interview questions. Exactly. No more interview questions. And because at, at least you have a mission statement. I would rather go for somebody that has a mission statement that I don't agree with and somebody just doesn't have a mission statement at all. I'd rather, I'm, I'm not a vegan, but I'd rather hang out with a vegan to just kind of hear their perspectives if they're not too pushy about it. Because at least they have a purpose. At least they have a mission. If you don't know your mission and your purpose, then you're not going to cut through the noise and be able to reach that high value person to make an impact. So it's so important to get clear on that. Now, you might be watching this and thinking, man, 25 years old, 30 years old, uh, 40 years old. I don't really know what my mission statement is. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my proposition of value, what I would invite somebody into is. If you do not know that, let's get clear on that, okay? Let me guide you through that. Ibrahim, if you could show the the dream uh, dashboard, you can pull it up actually really quickly. It'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Here's a document, okay? It's inside my Get Your 10 program. It's all about getting clarity on this. What is the tribe that supports you? The tribe that has your back? You get really good clarity on what do you bring to the table? What are you working on? You get clarity on who was your dream person and also what would it require for you to meet them at that convergence? What do they want from you? What do you want from them? Get really, really super clear on that, okay? That's all inside the Madison 91 Legacy Package, okay? It's all in there. I don't just talk about this stuff. I teach you guys how to live it. I teach you how to think it through. I teach you how to put it into practicality. I'm not just the inner feel good guy, the inner game feel good guy. I want like results. I want tangible results. I want that for you. So if you're gonna feel good and think this stuff through, I want you guys to get tangible results from it in your personal life, in your social life, in your friends, your relationship, your family, all of that. And if you you want to see this in real life and see real life interactions of it, again, madison91.com, get in there, okay? And feel free to also DM us about it. Um, I see uh, Kevin Safar. Uh, you know, hit us up, give us a DM, let us know what you have going on. Let us know how we can help you get a conversation going. But right now, so you have to wait again, madison91.com, hop right in there and grab that. Now, understand that that is a driver, okay? But in addition to that, you also want to create some kind of attention. So things like little joking around or things like flirtation, you know, it's like little joking role plays, little funny future adventures that are playful and silly and ridiculous, a little bit of pushing and pulling. Um, you know, things like uh, disqualification or anything like that also can fuel that kind of fun vibe. So, you know, you're not just sitting there like in this like super duper intense like business conversation, like here's my business, where do you fit in? It's also that you're adding in a fun vibe. So there's an inner cultivation where you're enjoying life and you're playful and you're having a lot of fun and you're not taking it too seriously, but then you've also actually lived your life in a way where you have a unique perspective or something to share that gives you a unique energy imprint or a unique personal imprint and then it makes you stand out from the crowd and now you're not just another derper who that person is numb towards and they have banner blindness towards because just to get through their day, they've got to ignore you, but you're bringing something else to the table. That's both in life, that's in life experience that's in your kind of energetic, unique signature, like a unique energy signature 
about you and it's also in your playfulness and joking around and creating tension and chemistry between the two of you. Yeah. 